I'll be completely honest with you, I wasn't even gonna film today's video, but I just got a phone call from my client's daughter that one of my clients ended up in the hospital. Now, please stay tuned and watch this video all the way through because I do have a very urgent message for you. I wanna tell you how to be healthy in 2021, and I've got five lifestyle tips for mobility and longevity. Now, listen, my client ended up in a hospital. Main reason, he was just going into the urologist to just get a normal checkup because he had some issues with his bladder, but he did have AFib. And the other doctors did not really say that he had it, but turns out he did. And it's atrial fibrillation, fibrillation, I can't really say it right. But meaning he had an irregular heartbeat. So they did send him to Northside Hospital and he's there now. Hopefully he'll be out tomorrow and I'm gonna help him get out of his car, get to his house and make sure he's okay. Because I do see my client two to three days a week at his house, his lake house. And I just help him with mobility. We do bed stretches, we walk around. But all of this goes to say that I want you to make a healthy lifestyle change in 2021. 2020 sucked for all of us, I'm not gonna lie. You've gotta take action right now and take control of your health in 2021. Do you know what's happening in this world? Unfortunately, the world is not getting any better and I wanna give like all this hope and praise that yeah, things are gonna work out, the vaccine's gonna be here, but guess what? You gotta take care of your health, like that's your own best line of defense. Before I get too carried away, I'm gonna share with you these five tips that you're gonna wanna start doing right now to take better control of your health. Number one, move for 20 to 30 minutes a day. First thing in the morning would be best, but you gotta move. I mean, you could check out any one of my follow along workouts, any of these playlists. You could string two or three of these together, but you've gotta move every day. And the main reason I'm even shooting this video right now because my client didn't move a lot, right? And now he has a little bit of gout in his leg and this has been ongoing because it can be caused from dehydration, lack of inactivity, lack of movement, lack of blood flow. And I just went on a trip and I was only gone for a couple of weeks and now this happened. And I, I mean, I hate to say it's like my fault or maybe it's his fault, but he hasn't been moving a lot. And even if you're really young right now and you have the ability to move, do not waste your precious time. Time is the most valuable thing you have and do not tell me that you don't have enough time to exercise or work out. Because given the current situation that you were living in, if you haven't been aware of 2020, things won't get better. They even say in the media that it may not get better for the next decade. Now, I think that's pretty crazy. I'm not, I'm not even gonna get into it, okay? But you, your best line of defense is taking care of yourself. So how do you start? I mean, my slogan is nutrition first, training second, but I'll tell you right now, something even more important than nutrition sometimes is your movement. Because I'll be honest, yes, nutrition is super important and I do pride myself on nutrition first and training second, but even if your nutrition was a little bit out of whack and you did have your exercise down and you had your mobility and you were constantly moving every day, you're gonna have a longer, healthy life. You're gonna be able to live it a lot better. You don't wanna be stuck in a wheelchair. And if you are, God, I'm sorry, but you wanna, take control of your life right now, you wanna be able to move. Because for some of us, we're not all genetically grateful that we can just walk around and eat whatever we want. Some of us, we gotta work our asses off like me, okay? I'm making this video, I'm telling you about health. I was never the epitome of health and fitness. I was a freaking fat kid growing up. I was super out of shape, didn't have the best genetics. I had to work my ass off, okay? And I have another video for this, but I recently had COVID and it wasn't that bad. Now, I'm not trying to downplay this by any means. Yeah, I felt a little tired, had a little hard cough one day, lost my lack of taste and smell for about five days. My girlfriend got it too, so we both got tested. And within four days, I tested negative, my taste and smell came back. It didn't hit me that hard. But again, if I didn't take control of my health, maybe it could have hit me harder. I've had way harder diseases, and not harder diseases, I'm sorry, but I've had way worse illnesses in the past. So COVID didn't really affect me that much. It was a mild, flu at best, but I pride myself on my nutrition, the way I take care of myself. By the time I turned 17, I started really getting in the best shape. I started moving, I started training, I started eating better. So I know I'm getting off on a tangent here, but if you take control of your health right now, and for the next 10 years, chances are this isn't gonna affect you. It does affect a lot of people with pre-existing conditions, okay? So I know some things are in the media saying, oh, this person was in perfect health and he died because of COVID related issues. Somebody had a heart attack. Well, generally you're gonna have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and maybe you weren't as active. I mean, I know some people that are only like 140 pounds, males that may be like 5'8", 5 5'11", 5 and they're super thin and they have very high cholesterol and high blood pressure and they have died of heart attacks. Stories I've heard, okay? I don't know anybody personally. But long story short, move. 20 to 30 minutes a day. Move every day, go for a walk. Just freaking move, it will help you so much. Next thing I want you to do, I want you to drink a liter of water every morning. You think I'm freaking crazy? 
Check this out. I'm gonna down this right now. Like, listen, I got a, like a half a liter right here. All right, that's a half a liter, okay? And call me freaking crazy, but you can drink a liter of water every morning. So here's the rest of the 22 ounces. This is Ikea, by the way. Me and a client of mine, we spent like $2,600 on water. Anyways, fresh bottle of water. Boom, all right? I just down a liter of water. Am I gonna die? Hell no, okay? Now, again, this is for educational and entertainment purposes only. All right, so I'm not gonna like, clearly say you must drink a liter of water every day, but that's something I do every single morning, okay? And if you could drink a liter of water first thing in the morning, or even half, that little 22 ounce bottle I had, the Waikia water, really good stuff, not gonna get into it, but drink 20 ounces of water, drink a 16 ounce bottle, start small, at least drink eight ounces of water right when you wake up, because it's an easy hydration window that you can get in, start it first thing in your day. And honestly, a lot of times, your body's gonna give you mixed signals sometimes that you're hungry. In reality, you're actually thirsty. And when I started doing this last year, because I was listening to another podcast about drinking water, it's something super simple that we can all do. And it's actually probably one of my number one best health tips that you can do just for increased longevity and mobility because water is the mechanism that helps flush fat out the body. It regulates all your metabolic processes from sleeping, breathing, blinking, eating, everything. So just by drinking water can help you so much. And honestly, if you drink a liter of water, a bottle or even 16 ounces, and then waited 15, 20 minutes and had breakfast, you're probably not gonna eat as much. Or if you do intermittent fasting, listen, I'm not gonna get into the whole diet stuff right now, but even if you drink a bunch of water, you're not gonna feel as hungry, okay? Sometimes I could drink a whole bunch of water, then I'll brew up a bunch of coffee, I'll do my bulletproof coffee with my grass-fed butter, natural creamy peanut butter, MCT oil, have that. Man, sometimes I might not be able to really need any food till like noon or one. But for the most part, I'm on a different system right now. Only during the summer do I do something like that. I drink a lot of water all the time, but during the winter I eat because I wanna get strong. I'm 12, 14 pounds heavier right now than I was over the summer, and I can get that weight back off, but honestly, I feel better when I'm a little bit heavier. Anyways, I don't wanna to get too off track. Drink water every single morning. It's an easy hydration window for you, and it's gonna help you get along throughout your day, and it's gonna help you reach your water goals towards the end of the day. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be honest, try and drink a gallon one gallon of water every day. Now, I know that sounds crazy, but if you're only drinking 60 ounces of water, that's way too little. And for some of my older clients, they don't drink as much, and sometimes they get tight muscles and cramps, and again, that can be from dehydration. If you get gout in your leg or you have some sort of poor circulation, sometimes it's dehydration. That can solve so many issues. That can keep you out of the hospital, because I've had several clients that have either passed out in their lifetime, had the ambulance come. One of my clients thought his wife was having a stroke, but no, she flew in from out of the country. All she had the night before from 5 to 10 p.m. was two glasses of wine. And then first thing in the morning, she was traveling from the airport. And then by noon, she passed out because she didn't have any liquids. She didn't have any food. And that's a serious case. You know, I have one lady who's a school teacher. She passed out of school. I had another girl. She fell down a flight of stairs in her early 20s. I, all this is dehydration, so please just stay hydrated. Try and drink a bunch of water first thing in the morning. That'll help you get an early start on your hydration needs first thing in the day, and it's gonna help you get there a lot easier throughout the rest of the day, drinking that water and hitting those water goals. And I'll be honest with you, right now, I'll probably hit a gallon of water, but look, I know this is kind of gross, but my spit is foamy white. I'm dehydrated. I had a gallon of water today, and my, I'm dehydrated. But again, I did have a lot of sodium last night. It was New Year's Eve. I didn't get to see my parents for Christmas, so I did have a lot of, geez, I'll be honest, I had some mac and cheese and I had a bunch of food, but it had a lot of salt in it and it had a lot of sodium. So sometimes if you have high sodium meals, you can get dehydrated even easier. And someone who works out like me a lot, I did have two workouts today. You know, I didn't have a heavy client load, so I worked out at like 6 a.m., worked out again at like 2 p.m., did over two hours of workouts today, had three meals in between, had some coffee and I'm dehydrated. Whenever you're exercising every 30 minutes, you probably need an extra eight to 16 ounces of water. And it can be very easy. Someone who's over 200, 250 pounds, you might have to drink a gallon and a half of water. I've seen some people drink two gallons of water. And that's something I struggle with every single day. So I'll be honest, I'm not perfect, but I want you to do a little bit better just like me. I could do better every day and I don't hit all these goals perfectly, but I just wanna educate you to the best of my ability to help you and start off drinking more water. Number three, I want you to try having a protein shake every day with a giant handful of spinach. Now listen, I will always say, have whole foods and do not take supplements first. 
Eat the best you can of your ability through whole solid foods. All right, nutrition and supplementation or supplementation should come second. Now, yes, I do say take a pharmaceutical grade multivitamin. You should take some zinc. You should take uh, magnesium, calcium, calcium, magnesium, sometimes for your bones. Zinc can kind of help with testosterone production. I mean, go get your hormones checked. I mean, that, that's in another video, but get your hormones checked by a doctor. Make sure everything is functioning well. But again, when I'm talking about the protein shake here with a handful of spinach, this is just something easy that you can do because of the fact you can get a lot of nutrients in. And this is something new that I'm doing. I pretty much have a protein shake every day. And why? It serves as a meal replacement for me. Listen, I'm a busy professional. And a lot of my clients are busy professionals too. And that's kind of my motto. I help busy professionals burn fat fast, eating tasty foods they love. And when my clients are busy, they don't always have time to cook. And I highly suggest if you don't have time to cook, get a chef, have your significant other, have someone help you, get a meal prep company, something. But you wanna have some whole foods coming in. But honestly, for me, I have a breakfast and then usually I do a shake mid-morning and then I have lunch. So like my worst case situation, I can always have breakfast in the morning. Again, I get hungry in the morning, I eat, I'm on a different plan than most people, okay? You can do intermittent fasting, you can do some other kind of diets, but I have my own thing I follow. So I have breakfast, I wanna eat. I drink my liter of water, I have breakfast, and then usually I do a meal replacement, so I'm doing a giant shake with banana, mango, and two giant handfuls of spinach. Even if you just wanna put a big glob of spinach, some vanilla and sweet and almond milk, protein powder, I have some grass-fed protein powder that you can get from Tens Institute. I'll put my link down below. You can use the code WALL15 to get 15% off. But I do that all the time because it's easy for me. I can get in a good bit of nutrients and I honestly, last year, I didn't eat shit for spinach, okay? And that's something I'm trying to do now in 2021. I wanna be healthier and I'm trying to eat better. So I'm putting a giant handful of spinach in my shakes and if you do that with your protein shakes, that'll help you get a little bit more nutrients in, okay? I can list all the nutrients, actually off the top of my head, I don't know, but I know it's very important to get your greens. A lot of fiber, good nutrients, very low carbs, and it can help fill you up if you're shoving a bunch of spinach in your shakes. Putting it in a Nutribullet or a Nutribullet uh, blender, I'll go ahead and put that link in the description because it's very easy for me to make some protein shakes. And you could do it too, and it's super simple. So if I have a liter of water, do my breakfast, have my shake, then I can figure out lunch and usually have time to get a salad or something. Or if I'm strapped for time, I can just go to Cheeky or Chick-fil-A, get a salad, and then I could drink a bunch of water. I can come home and have dinner. And it's simple, okay? It's simple. I practice these habits every single day and it makes it easy. So I want you to probably start doing a shake if you can. And because for the most people I talk to, they say they're pressed for time. You have time to do whatever you want. But if you do a meal replacement shake, that can help you. You get in a little bit of greens, you get your protein powder, you get some good fruits in. I like to have fruits, fruits aren't the enemy. That's another video. Carbs are good, okay? So I put that in my shake, I down it, it gives me the nutrients I need. And again, it's a good meal replacement shake. I hope you get a little bit of greens in. And I want you to try it because protein's a natural thermogenic. It helps you burn a little bit more calories. You know, for every 100 calories of protein you take in, you naturally will burn off about 25 or 27 calories. If you have fats, fats burn at a natural rate of three to five carbs five to seven. So just by having protein in with your meals can help you burn off a little bit more of the calories that you're taking in. So put two giant handfuls of spinach in your protein shake, have a little bit of fruit in there. It's tasty and it's gonna help you get in some good nutrients. All right, I know number four is kind of like number one, move, but I'm gonna say number four, I want you to walk 30 minutes, three days a week with a weighted vest. I know that sounds crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description to a weighted vest. But chances are, if you've been walking a lot, especially last year in 2020, everybody was going for walks. Everybody, well, okay, I'm not gonna say everybody because some people talked about the COVID weight. But for people like me, right when COVID started, I was like, I'm gonna freaking start running. And I, I hated running at the time. Now I kind of enjoy trail running. During the winter, I only do it about once every four to six weeks or so. But yeah, I mean, today I even jogged two miles, you know, a mile before I worked out, a mile after. Anyways, that's besides the point. But walking is simple. And if you get a weighted vest and you just put it on 20 pounds or so, go for a walk, get a dog, go walk your dog with the weighted vest. It will make that exercise much more efficient. We've been walking for over 40,000 years. And after a month of walking, it gets pretty simple. But if you put a weighted vest on, Walking with a weighted vest was actually a lot harder than it was when I had COVID. I could breathe fine. Even when I had it, I still went at a park and I jogged and actually at the time I didn't even know I had it, but I was exercising fine. It didn't really affect me, but I've always been exercising. I've been strengthening and increasing the lung capacity from just running. You know, I was been strengthening my, my body, my immune system. Exercise is the best damn 
insurance policy for your body and strengthen your immune system, okay? So just start walking three days a week with a weighted vest. Or if you don't get the weighted vest, just walk three days a week, 30 minutes, okay? That will help you get some blood flow and get some circulation through your body and it'll help you burn calories and it's easy. And then also I would educate you too, here's a little bonus, after your walk, please stretch for 10 or 20 minutes. Stretch as much as you can because as you get older and you don't stretch as much, your muscles are gonna get tight. Like I have a client of mine, she is constantly tight. Her hips been killing her, okay? But now that she's been stretching all the time, I mean, 2021 is gonna be a banging year for her. And I know you're watching this, so I can't wait to see you succeed in 2021. But for some of you out there too, we need to all stretch more. So check out my mobility video, start stretching a little bit more. And in the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna put out another mobility video. I'm, I'm putting out a ton of content. Like I told you, I have 100 workout videos in 100 weeks. Got about 50 now, I got about 50 more to go. And after that, I might get into something different, probably some cooking videos. But anyways, long story short, go for a walk three days a week, get a weighted vest, and it will help increase your aerobic capacity. You'll be able to breathe easier because breathing with a weighted vest is honestly a little hard. And if you wanna strengthen your immune system, if you wanna increase your lung capacity, in case you get a breathing disability like COVID, if you're already walking with that weighted vest and then you're jogging without the vest and things like that, like breathing is gonna be a lot easier if you ever got a respiratory illness, okay? So get the weighted vest, start walking three days a week for 30 minutes and improve your aerobic capacity. All right, and number five, get deep sleep and get good quality rest at all means possible. Now, again, I'm gonna put my link in the description to TENS Institute. They have pharmaceutical grade supplements and something that can help you get a little bit deeper sleep is their sleep supplement called RPM. It's a regenerative PM nighttime. But again, it's got a little bit of melatonin in there that can help you get a little bit more restful sleep. It also has some deer antler there that can help with recovery. Again, I'm not gonna get into it too much, but I've had plenty of clients, including myself, that take this thing and I put two thirds of the dropper under my tongue before I go to bed at night. And sometimes I even have vivid dreams, okay? And also, I, I mean, this is another little thing here, but I have this watch. I mean, you're not gonna be able to see it, but uh, uh, Samsung sent me this and I'm gonna get into that later, but I can have this sleep button here. So I can track my sleep and so, if you, even if you have the iPhone or the iWatch or whatever, I've got this Galaxy Active 2, but you know, I'm just looking right here, uh, this week's average. I got three hours and 10 minutes more sleep than last week. Obviously, I've been on vacation a little bit. I was snowboarding in Colorado, or not Colorado. Last minute change of plans, I did go to West Virginia, went snowboarding, going to Colorado in February. Please, I hope to God I do. But anyways, I've been able to get a lot more sleep and I feel restful, I feel strong. I've been eating a lot more. I'm 10 pounds heavier than I was over the summer because I'm not, doing as much cardio and I'm eating way more carbohydrates and I'm getting strong and honestly, I feel good. Now granted, I don't have the raging six pack. Well, I didn't even have a raging six pack, but I didn't have as much lean abdominal definition now than I did over the summer, but I feel so much better. I've been getting more restful sleep and plus I can track this. So let's see if I look at, uh, let's see this week, no sleep record today. Well, actually my watch died, so I didn't get to wear it. But a lot of times this watch can help me track my sleep. And honestly, some days if I got like five to seven, or if I got like seven hours of sleep and I only had like 30 minutes of deep sleep or REM sleep, and then I had a lot of light sleep, I still could feel tired. But if I get that deep sleep, I'll feel more rested and I'll perform better. And honestly, for some of you, you may have trouble sleeping, get more active. Like if you went and did some steady state cardio and went for a walk 30 minutes in the morning and used a weighted vest, and then you ate a couple of meals, you had breakfast, you had lunch, had a mid afternoon snack and you worked out in the afternoon and then you trained for like an hour with weights and then you came back home and you had dinner. I promise you, if you did like an hour and a half to two hours activity a day or even just an hour, you'll probably feel a little bit more tired. You'll hit the bed harder and you'll get some more restful sleep, okay? So it's really important that if you exercise, you can wear your body down a little bit, but also it's very important that you should get your sleep because sometimes if you're not sleeping, your body's not repairing. And when you are sleeping, that's when your body is releasing those growth hormones. That, okay, your muscles and your tissues are repairing. All you're doing all day when you're eating food is like you're priming your body with the good nutrients from your healthy, nutritious habits, right? You're just getting your body ready, okay? None of the repair and the muscle growth and all that stuff starts yet. It's when you go to bed. And so you're burning two ends of the stick here if you're always exercising and not getting enough sleep. So you need to exercise, but also you need to get plenty of rest so your body can repair, okay? You need your body to repair and you need to get that deep quality sleep. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that uh, RPM supplement there that you can try and check out. I'm gonna put that link in the description. Try that out. 
Use that before you go to bed. Also, you know, do your exercise, drink plenty of water, get good nutrition, but get some restful quality sleep because that will help your body repair. And those are my five top tips to help with your mobility and help with your longevity in 2021. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you're brand new to the channel, my name's Frank. I'm a certified personal trainer and fitness nutrition coach. I help people feel, move, and look better through mobility, training, and nutrition. And if you are new to the channel again, please go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you never miss any of my latest content, okay? And please just go ahead and give this video a like because that really does help me out. It does help out the channel and helps push this content out to more people that can benefit from my information. And again, I wasn't even gonna make this video today. And if you stuck here all the way to the end of this video, I'm gonna go out on a limb here. If you live in the US continental 48 states, please just go ahead and comment on the bottom of the video and say, I'm gonna stay hydrated. Something to deal with hydration. You know what, go ahead and use the hashtag hydration. Hashtag hydration. Frank, I'm going to be hydrated in 2021. And I'm going to ship you that Waiakea water. I'm going to ship you a case of water. So if you stuck here to the end of the video, I'm not even going to do this like whole contest rules. Just, I'm going to pick my most favorite comment probably by the end of the month or so. So maybe by February, I'm going to ship you a case of water. Okay. It's 22 ounces of water. And that way you can drink this bottle just like I did the one and a half. You can drink either a liter and a half, which is a bottle and a half of water. You could drink that and you can stay hydrated because honestly, I wanna help you. Listen, I, I've been blessed, okay? I'm living a great life. I'm not the richest person in the world and you know, I'm 36 years old. I'm trying to crush all this YouTube content and you know, expand my brand and expand my reach and make a bigger audience because I wanna help more people. I'm thankful. You know, this Christmas, I spent over a couple grand, $2,000 getting all my clients Christmas gifts. And I'm not trying to brag, but I've been blessed. I had a really good year. I had the best year of my life because of COVID. And main reason, because people reach out to me and needed a lot of help. So every year I wanna do better. I mean, shit, if I could give all my clients cards, like that's insane. I don't know what the future holds for me, but I wanna give back. I'm so thankful. So that's why if you stay tuned with my content and my channel, I'm doing a lot of giveaways. I'm doing a lot of crazy stuff. You know, it seems like when I give away to $100, people don't care about it that much. So. I mean, if I get the ability to, I'll start giving away like thousands and tens of thousands of dollars like Mr. Beast. I respect that guy so much. And if you don't know who he is, you know, I'm going to go ahead and link his channel in the description because this guy's insane. He does insane content on YouTube and he's giving away so much money and he's helping out a lot of people. So I want to do something similar like that. I want to be blessed enough that, you know, if I can do well enough in my business and my life, I want to give back to so many more people. So use the hashtag hydration, comment below saying, Frank, I'm going to drink more water this year and I'm going to pick my favorite comment and I'm going to ship you a case of water. So thank you so much for tuning in. I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Check out some of my follow along workouts. I'll put a playlist right here and you'll probably see this workout video in just a little bit. I'll put a card to that too. It's my latest video, my first workout video of 2021. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon in the next video.